Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Nitori and today we are going to install Windows 2000 on the latest patch in 2024. I know the patch isn't the reason like the 2024 or, or anything but it's just easier way to install than my older video. So I'm just gonna update this and delete everything I made before that. Because I, I feel like the older video was a little bit confusing to to do So yeah, this time it doesn't seem to be very confusing to do So yeah, I think this will be done in really really quickly And also, we are going to play a 3D games on it too I wanna thank i 430 vx for the patches So I, I will leave everything necessary requirement below Alright, so the requirements for this is uh, that you need a uh, Windows 2000 ISO uh, This time I, I just used the retail copy, I, I didn't install the SP4 version of it So I'll install the SP4 version after I install the Windows 2000 So you also need this i 430 vx patches there are 5 files you need to get So you need to pack everything up in a ISO file And then you need a WSUS register file I don't know if you, whether you need this or not I just include this Maybe this can be useful or not I don't. I still don't know And then you will need a kernel X for Windows 2000 By the way, you will also need to extract MSPCP60.dll from the kernel X installer I had a, a problem that took me like a few hours to figure out why After I installed the kernel X, the windows just keep stuck in the login boot loop So yeah, uh, you need to put the msvcp60.dll from the kernel X installer to the system32 before you install the kernel X And lastly, you need the mspcr19.dll from the dll files this time I just use the 6161 I don't really know which one is better version or what But 6161 seems working for me So yeah, I'm just getting the 6161 version of MSPCR90.dll This is this one is for the DRX Be sure to prepare F before you proceeding to anything You need to extract all the zip file and make sure that there are no zip file in it and then you can just go to compile everything on a single ISO file So I'm creating an ISO file with the ultra ISO You can use anything ISO maker you want But yeah, I, I extract everything No zip file Everything in the single ISO file Alright, so here here's are the steps you need to follow accordingly The first of all, you need at least a Windows 2000 SP4 installer But in this case, I will just install the retail copy of the Windows 2000 So I install the Windows 2000 SP4 later after I install Windows 2000 After I install the Windows 2000, I will install the VBOX edition And then I, I'll install the Windows 2000 SP4 I did a little bit mistakes on the steps here But it doesn't matter it, whether you install the VBOX edition first or the Windows 2000 SP4 first and then, you download everything from this i430vx.net files And then install everything in order that After you install everything in order And then you, you need to download the wstars.rec and apply it After you apply it, you need to go to legacyupdate.net and install legacy update to final patch After you install everything on the legacy update, you need to copy extracted msvcp60 to the system32 and then you can install the kernel x as usual you need to also download DirectX 9 from the falconfly website install DirectX as usual and then you need to insert a vbox edition you need to go to cmd and then type this make backup and rename the vbox dll to this and then copy them to the system32 you need also copy the msvcr90.dll to the system32 so on these two steps below, I don't think it's real. It's really use any useful right now. But I didn't do, do any any of it, and it still works. But if if you had a problem that it's not working, maybe it's a good idea to try it. So first of all, I am using the VirtualBox version six point zero point twenty four. The reason why I'm still using the VirtualBox six is because the after the VirtualBox six six point zero, they they updated the 
3D graphic driver, the, so it doesn't it doesn't compatible with the older Windows anymore. So yeah, I'm sticking with the VirtualBox 6. So I'm just gonna create a new virtual machine. Also, you you maybe need to create a larger hard disk size. I think I think 10 10 gigabyte is is okay. You need to at least 4 gigabyte for this installation. It will take like 4 gigabyte after you install everything. So yeah, everything is in normal. I didn't put anything special in, in particular other than the display. I set the highest video memory and enable the 3 acceleration. And after that, I didn't do anything particular on it. Let's start the virtual machine. So let's just install everything and as as usual. It will take a while. So I'm just gonna fast forward this. Remember that I didn't do anything particular. Just I just literally click next, 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 and next. So after I got everything installed, I I started to install the VirtualBox Edition. So yeah, just gonna next next and OK and and press OK, uh, press Yes. Just keep pressing Yes and then reboot. Yeah, after reboot, you got you got the better color depth. I'm just gonna change the color color depth even even better, like true color sensitive to bit. But you don't have to uh, restart it for now. So there, yeah, insert that that ISO file you created, and then install the Windows 2000 SP4 first. If you don't have the SP4 before, and after you install everything up, you just gonna need to restart it. Alright, now you get everything up. Now you can start to install the i430VX file. First of all, you need to install the i6 and just click this i6 setup and then accept and then next. It will restart by itself. After that, you gotta is install the second Windows uh, rollup one for Windows 2000 SP4. Just gonna next next it all and then let it restart. After you boot right back up, now let's install the third one, the Windows Update Agent Installer. So yeah, you just gonna next it, but you don't have to restart. And then you uh, install the root certificate update, the fourth one. And then you can finally install the fifth one, the e i6 hotfix. And then it will, it will restart. There's so much restarting in this pro process. So after you install everything up, you are ready to go to internet. So I just right. So now I'm going to to go to that i430vx website once again to download the the wsas the registry file. So after you, you go that link, you can just click the parent directory parent directory once again, and then just right open it and then press yes. Okay. I don't know if you have you need to restart or, or not. But I can just go right to the legacyupdate.net and then install the le legacy update from there. You can you can press the leg install legacy update and then press open. When proper install, you, you can just press next and let it install. And it, it will uh, do the first run on the legacy update. So this this will take a little while. It took like uh, 10 minutes or so. It finished uh, taking your windows, you can just click the download and install now and let it download and then restart by itself. For some reason though, 
uh, Windows 2000 require me to input my my username. You can just put the username on when you install the Windows 2000. If you don't remember your your username, you can just type administrator and leave the password blank and then press OK. And so finally, we are uh, installed the legacy update, so we can just uh, press start and then go to legacy update once again and let it let it uh checking for the latest update for this pc it will take a while it just it won't take uh that long like the first one but yeah this one this one will be quick so after everything shows up it will automatically select everything so you just need to install everything for this case though i did the optional software updates i did the root certificate update microsoft.net framework 2.0 and microsoft.net framework version 1.1 i choose three of that that in the optional software updates so i didn't i didn't know what was the microsoft based smart card cryptographic service provider because if you want to install that it, it's fine too. I, I i really don't know what's that for so yeah you can just click the review and install it check everything if is included and then Click the install update and let it install. This will take a while for me too. It will take like uh, 10 minutes or 5 15 minutes. This will take a while. All right, so once you got everything update, you can go to the start again and then go to legacy update again and check if there's any update again just to be sure. For my case, though. Uh, I do have the Microsoft.NET Framework 1.1 Surface Pack 1 and then the other things. I just uh, install everything, review and install update. This will be quick and there's no need to restarting the Windows again. Alright, so now you get everything updated to the latest pack. You can start to install the kernel X. But before that, you need to copy the msvcp 60dll to the to the system32 then you can just copy the msvcp 60dll to the system32 and after you copy that you can just uh, install the kernel x just as usual i didn't do anything uh, significant the root certificate update okay uh, once the extended kernel options open up i didn't do anything significant i just press execute and then let it uh, restart by itself once you get it back on, for some reason though, I didn't know why this error happens, but you can just ignore it. It doesn't seem to do to affect anything. Now you finally done install the kernel X. Now you can proceed to install the DirectX. Press yes and then choose the location you want to extract everything on. on. So let's just go to the that location and then find the DX setup and then accept next next. And then once it installed, you will be asked to restart the computer. So yes, just let the computer to restart. Also, you can you can actually turn off the the logon to Windows uh, on the control panel, but I won't do do it this time. It, it is easy. You just uh, go to control panel and then user account and then check that where yeah, you can turn it off. So let's put the msvcr90.dll to the system 32 and finally you can install the pip virtualbox address edition i'm just gonna right click explore and then open the cmd go to the extract file extract folder location the c driver xxcc vbox video open gl and you see that you see that vbox d3d8.dll vbox d3d9.dll and wind3d.dll make a new folder name it like dx back dx backup or something go to the system32 copy the two files uh, make a backup for uh, for that two files so i'm just gonna copy the virtualbox file in this three three files in this vbox folder first because we are gonna re rename this re re let's rename this the vbox d3d8.dll to d3d8.dll remove the vbox name and then move everything up to the system32 replace everything yes to all 
and you can finally check the DX DX if the, if it working. It should working though. If it's not working, you you probably need to do the uh need to do the Vbox control set video acceleration on. But I really think it doesn't matter. Alright, so now we are we install everything up. We can finally uh play the play the three D games on the Windows two thousand we we just installed. So this time I just let's let's play the games I have. This is the mouse icon too. So yeah, it's working. It's very very smooth. Need for Speed High Stakes was my one of my favorite uh, Need for Speed series, but I I play a lot of uh, on the PlayStation One version, so I maybe don't have any memories playing this in the PC version. So yeah, guys, now you you, you see that you can actually uh, play 3D games on the Windows 2000. I think this this uh this steps is way more easier than the last time I I did some new uh, application does work like uh Blender Blender from the 2015 does work. You can see here Blender to 2.76. I don't know why why you are needing you needing to use this version of Blender, but yeah it's working. And quite the newer version of Medibank Paint Pro, it also does working here too. You can see here it is this is the version 27. So yeah. But then again, I I don't know what's the point of you using using this uh, on a Windows 2000. But I, I think it, it's cool. I think. So yeah, this is just the another game that I I played a lot back then. This game it can is. You can actually is, uh, easily just play this game on a Windows XP without this whole headaches. So yeah, but in this video, I I won't do anything anything in depth like the using the OS buffer to install the latest uh not the latest, to install the Firefox. As you can see, after you you install the OS buffer, you can you can go install the Firefox ESR. 52.4.1 version yeah it it does work but not not many websites supporting it anymore so it's kind of useless back in the my 2021 video it does a lot of websites still working so yeah nothing is working right now anymore youtube doesn't even work anymore so it's sad it's really sad to see so yeah, that's that's it for today, guys. Ah, uh, it took me a while and a lot of it reinstall to do this video. So if you have any question, uh, don't don't hesitate to ask on the comment question. Uh, like and subscribe if you don't like it. So yeah, that's about it. Enjoy your Windows 2000, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.